Clapper, and before I start my speech, I want you guys to do me a favor, and I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to think of your pet. Um, your friend's pet, your pet, family pet. Picture them happy and playing in the green grass. Sun shines down upon their face. And I picture that same pet in a dark room, locked in a wire cage, never to be free, and never see the light of day again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is real. Pets like yours and mine are being used every day in animal experiments. And that's why I'm doing my presentation on animal experimentation. Each year, millions of animals die in the U.S. due to animal testing. But it's impossible to know the exact number because 90% of the animals that are used are birds, mice, and rats. And scientists aren't required to report these animals. Um, but the animals that are required are like dogs, cats, guinea pigs. It's practically all of your household pets. In 2002 alone, obviously over a million animals were reported of being used in scientific experiments. And since mice make up about 90% of animals in the labs, it's safe to say that over 14 million of rats and mice were used in the experiments. Um, and that's on top of the animals that were already reported. Um, 4,089, 262 animals that were used in research, obviously not including mice and rats, were involved in experiments that caused them pain and stress and discomfort. And to me, that's just not fair. 1,364 animals used in the experiments are not given anything to help with the pain and to help with the discomfort. And to me, I just think that's just plain wrong. How would you like it if you were going into a doctor's office and they were going to poke and prod you with needles and you knew it was going to hurt, but you also knew that you weren't going to be given anything for it? I think you would be pretty scared. <laughs> Right now, there are no current laws protecting any of these animals. And to me, I just think that's wrong. Um, I don't get how in homes you're not allowed to, you can't abuse your animals. Um, you'll go to jail for that. But these scientists can just do whatever they want. And um, they have really poor living conditions. I mean, it's so sad. Um, some things that I've seen personally. Um, it's just, it's, it's sickening to your stomach. Um, <laughs> animals like dogs and cats are forced to live in wire cages um, with very little or no room, as you can obviously see in this photo. These are cats. And, um, I mean, that's, if that's not sad, then um, I really don't know what is. Animals like mice, uh, they're kept in small, clear boxes. Um, they're usually stuffed in with uh, more than one at a time, and um, they're about the size of a shoebox. And, you know, it's just, they are hardly given any room to run around. It's, it's a terrible thing. Um, larger animals are uh, kept in cages, like I said, dogs and cats. Um, it's a problem within itself keeping these animals caged because animals like dogs and cats and primates, as you can see here, they need, they, they need to interact. They need to have something to play with. They need to have other animals around to interact with. Or besides that, you know, they get really depressed and bored and, um, and lonely. And, and these animals, <laughs> they're kept in cages all the time. The only time that they get to get out of this cage is when they're being poked and prodded and, and used in experiments. Um, but there are other alternatives. Um, Pharmacy labs in England were the first to use human tissue and sophisticate, sophisticated technology in the process of drug development and testing. Um, did you know that 90%, 92% actually, um, according to PETA, um, of experimental drugs that are okay um, using on animals fail in human clinical trials? Um, basically just because they don't work or they are actually very, very harmful to humans. Um, and not just as scientists, but there's things that people like you and I can do too uh, to help these animals. 
Um, like places like these have any a uh, show of hands, have any of you bought any items from this from any of here? No? Yeah. Well that's great. Um actually if you go on PETA, they have a list of places, um that's actually where I got these, of um companies and products that um are harmful to animals and these just happen to be some of them, which I was kind of impressed to see that Abercrombie and Fish does the experiment on animals. I thought that was a pretty cool. Um, the scientists um, believe that the discovery process is much more efficient with human tissue, so why bother using animals? It just absolutely makes no sense to me. Um, you know, they're nature's gift. Um, they're not just pets, they're also family to you and I. And um, I'm Kayla Clapper, and I hope I've given you all a different perspective on animal experimentation. Thanks. Thank you.